Continuing off with the styling of our little notes app here, uh, what we want to do now is get this out of the middle of the screen. Right now, if we're adding some stuff in, and I'm just going to add a couple items in. Notice it's like moving up as uh, as I add new things in. It's kind of expanding out right in here, and we don't really want that. We want it to just be static, and then we want to add things in, and they'll just go down, right? We just want it to go down the list and not kind of expand out as we add more things in like we don't want this text box moving uh, and we also kind of want it at you know more at the top of the screen right in the middle of the screen like that it doesn't quite look all right all right so what we have to do is uh, go down to our styles here at the beginning I told you to add this flex one in and that was fine for the beginning because we were trying to get things in the middle of the screen but we want to get rid of this now remember flex one is basically just telling react native that you know I want you to take up as much room as you can. So if there's no other, you know, views in here, that we just have the one big nested view tag here. If there's no other views in here, I just wanted you to take up as much room as you possibly can for whatever you have inside. If we get rid of this, notice what happens. It refreshes and it gets pushed up all the way to the top of the screen. In fact, the only reason why it's not butting up against the uh, date right here, it might be on, on, on Android a little bit. On Android, it's probably uh, maybe touching the top of the screen. You guys would have to tell me if you're using Android. But on iOS, the only reason why it's not touching that number right there is because we have this margin 10 right here. So we want to add in, and so after getting rid of that flex one, we want to add in a spe uh, specific margin top. So we can say margin top, and then add that in at maybe 20 pixels. So it's going to push down just a little bit more, maybe like 30 pixels. 30 pixels is probably good. 30, yeah, so that's much better, like 30 pixels, uh, just to push this down a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the way, and then if we start going in here and adding new stuff, notice it's it's not like pushing out from the middle anymore, this isn't just expanding out upward, every time I add it to do, it's getting added to a list right here, right? The last thing I want to do in this video is maybe add in like a little bit of a background color, white with the green is, you know, simple but kind of boring. Um, you know, for, for such a simple app like this, you might want a little bit more of a holistic color. Uh, I'm trying to think of, you know, what a good one might be. You guys could definitely play around with this. Um, if you ever go to Google here, not any of this stuff. Let's see, where's my incognito tab that I had running? No, I guess I didn't have it. Um, if you guys go to Google and then you look up, like, uh, material colors, there are some really good color schemes out there uh, that uh, fit with like the material UI, you know, that kind of matte paper-ish looking UI that Google uses a lot. Um, and they give you like a pretty good color chart right here. Remember, there's like millions of colors and they, they picked out a few good ones here that, that really match up with whatever you're trying to accomplish. So maybe I want, uh, we could try this light blue, I suppose. So I'm gonna copy this hex value and go back to my code and down here, I'll finish this up. I'll say background color colon, and inside of quotes here, I'm going to put hashtag and then put that color value in there, the hex color value, and save it. And of course, it only add the reason why it only added the, the the blue on here is because we don't actually have a flex one anymore. That's actually my fault. Um, what we can do to get rid of that is we can actually go up here to the view, and then make another view tag. This video is going to be a little bit longer than I had anticipated because I really want to fix this problem. So we're going to wrap this view tag in view tags. Now you're probably wondering why I didn't just have another view at the top or something. Well first of all because we're trying to encapsulate everything in this view tag and then also anytime you're returning something inside the render function it has to just be like one giant object. I can't have like like you know a pair of view tags down here uh, outside the main view tag. If I run this, you'll notice it's going to give me an error. Uh, it's, it even says like wrapped in enclosing tag, you know, uh, adjacent elements. You know, you can't do that. So if I get rid of this right here, it'll fix the problem when I reload the, uh, the, the app. Yeah, it's fine now. Um, so let's just tab this out a bit. And we're going to want to add in a separate style up here. So we'll say this is styles dots. Oh geez, what do I call this? I called this one view style. That's probably such an awful name, but um, I could call this whole style because we're using the whole page. Uh, I'm not very good at naming things on the fly, I guess. Uh, so we're going to add in a new object down here inside of our styles object called whole style. And what we want to do is we want to pull out this background color 
throw it inside the hole style and you know that's probably all we need oh yeah and a flex one because we want to take up the entire space uh, with our, our hole style so if I run this now now we get that nice blue everywhere in the background uh, and because we have the flex one in the in the upper level and not this component and not this view nest right here um, we're not getting that flex one that pushes this right to the middle so this is working you know just fine again I can add some stuff in and hit add to do and, it, and it's working just fine I'm I'm gonna change this blue color I'm just not a fan maybe this uh, cyan cyan whatever you want to call it uh, it's a little bit lighter blue kind of a greenish look almost and it's still a little strong maybe if I go down to like the hundred level and try that I'm going for I don't know maybe a sky blue kind of well not a sky blue but like a yeah see this doesn't look good either really having a hard time with this one guys all right let's try it. this is this is the last one I'll try this light blue right here uh, this website is fantastic though so I do um, encourage you to check it out and maybe even use a different color than the one I'm using all right this is fine this isn't you know quite perfect but this is fine for the app that we're working on right now I might change it later all right so uh, We'll keep working on some more styles in the next video. There's a couple more things that I want to show you how to do.